So while my predecessors opted to use phones or tablets as their uh, screens, I chose to design a fully integrated PCB with screens because I thought it would be more cost effective and less resources demanding, right? Even though I still ended up sinking a whole lot of cash into this project, but regardless of what my mother thinks of my spending habits, I think it was definitely worth it. Then I started designing the PCB with all the features I could possibly need and, you know, could cram into it really. All right, all right, all right. Here we are in KiCad and this is the blueprint for my latest PCB. This is where the RP240 uh, should be connected to, right? I opted to solder the microcontroller directly to these pads instead of integrating it into the PCB because it saved me quite a hassle. This is a ribbon cable connector for the screens. The screens are driven over SPI, which is uh, connected right here. It's just one wire where all the data flows through, which isn't really optimal to drive screens that way. However, it's quite easy and it's quite convenient. So we'll do it that way. This is where the SD card should be inserted in, right? Here uh, you can see an SD card, basically. <laughs> and I didn't connect it through the SPI bus. Uh, almost always SD cards are also connected over SPI to a microcontroller, but this would also go through that one wire and add extra latency to my screens, which I really, really don't want. So I connect it directly to the RP240 through the SDIO protocol. And I am certain this won't come back to buy this later. Then here is the charging circuit. It, um, it accepts the incoming voltage from the RP240 and sends it in a controlled manner to our battery. I hope at least. <laughs> and here is the, uh, the, the Hall Effect sensor. There's also one located right here. And it's just to tell me uh, which screens are where. It's a magnet sensor. I'll put a magnet on the assembly and then I'll know when to draw the frames to the screens. 